Today I'm playing Mr. Gimmick for NES. This is a PAL game, PAL B. I am playing with an authentic copy of the game. Um, even though I do own an EverDrive, I like to, you know, a lot of times play on the, uh, with authentic, uh, you know, because I'm a collector too. Yeah, so, like, I have nothing against EverDrive or, you know, anything like that. I use it all the time, but sometimes I like to, I, I like to use the authentic cartridges. Uh, this is a rare game. It's pretty expensive. Uh, it's pretty well known amongst NES collectors as being a good game, uh, you know, as well as what rare. So it's a shame that we didn't get it here, but uh, I believe that this is like a, a Switzerland came, you know, came from there. And here's the deal. So since it was PAL B, it wouldn't work on my NES top loader. So, uh, I actually had to put it into my analog NT. So I'm playing today on my analog NT, uh, which I almost never use, but I found a use for it because that has settings to where you can switch it between NTSC and PAL, and I needed to do that to get it to work. Um, so, since it is a PAL game. Now, there are other PAL games that I have. For example, um, you guys know... Uh, uh, is it like real Ghostbusters 2 like the you know the European Ghostbusters that game that's actually also really good that game I can put into my top loader and it'll just work fine um, so I guess there's different like regions for PAL um, I, I guess like somebody could explain it better to me I, I like when I was a kid I didn't even know about any of that um, so I guess, like, this is one that comes from Switzerland, and maybe that was one, like, the Ghostbusters one, maybe that one is for, like, the UK. Like, I don't really know. So I don't know why that one works, and then this one doesn't. So that that was the problem, but I, but I got it sorted out, so I am able to play it. Now, I have not, believe it or not, played this before, um, so I'm not going to know what I'm doing. So if you want to, you know, throw out any knowledge on this. I mean, I know a little bit about it. Um, I, I, I know that you're a little green guy, and it's a play platformer and you throw a star and uh, I've heard it's hard so that's about all I know um, all right the chat's coming in now and thank you Jay dread 3800 for subbing to me for 11 months I appreciate that very much Phoenix force 98 thank you for the tier one sub and Nikki fog has now been subscribed to me for two years thank you very much Everybody's starting to hit their two-year sub mark. I appreciate you guys that have stuck with me like that. Um, and Reno TKE as well. Uh, Alraz is two-year anniversary. Yours is tomorrow. How do you how do you know it's tomorrow? There's a way to keep track of that, I guess, somehow. It looks like a cute game. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, four 8-bit gamers just saying, anybody else buffering? Is anybody ever seeing the stream okay? <laughs> I don't think anybody else is complaining. It might, it might be you, 4-8-bit gamers. Um, it looks good? Okay. It says that it looks good. Sword and Stones ask, when is the next retail reviews? Uh, we're planning it out. Uh, so we haven't filmed it yet, but we're uh, planning the next one. It has to be filmed, uh, which I actually have to film James and Mike Mondays soon, and then retail reviews after that. And then all that stuff's got to get edited and whatever. So uh, probably several weeks out still, but you know. So, but we're working on it. Um, we're trying to do for retail reviews. We're doing like roughly like maybe like one a month. We were gonna do uh, originally. We were gonna do it bi-weekly, but um, I'm doing it monthly. More it tends to be more like that because I want to like I've been like waiting until like I have an idea that I'm really into. But I want, you know, anybody else who's going to be on the show with me talking about it, I want them to be into it, too. So I'm kind of, like, taking a step back a little bit with it and being like, okay, let's wait until we have something that we really want to, you know, discuss. Um, so that's sort of the, the approach with that is it's kind of like, see, with YouTube, not to get on this long rant about this, but really quickly, with YouTube, it's like YouTube, if you're a YouTuber and you do YouTube for a living, YouTube kind of demands, you know, get content out. It's very, like, you know, strict like that if you want to, 
you know, survive on YouTube. Uh, so you gotta like pump out the content. Uh, but with the retail reviews, we have a lot of shows. You know, we have James and Mike Mondays and ABGN and uh, rental reviews and. Um, you know, James is doing other videos and whatever. So we have a lot of videos on the channel as it is. So I'm kind of just like uh, waiting until we're like very prepared for that is more the approach we're taking with that. Um, so they come out when we're ready, essentially. Anyway, uh, this is Mr. Gimmick for NES. Let's get it started. Just a little bit. Thank you, uh, Dr. Roshnik2002 for that sub as well. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's our little character, and we can hold down the button, and he has a star, which you can toss the star, and I think you can you can ride the star too. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do it? Let's see if I can do it. I'm pretty sure you can get on top of the star. Mm -hmm. There you go, like that. So, I'll have to get better at this as I go. Now, obviously, this is not one that I owned, owned growing up or anything because it's PAL, so it was not in my country. There it goes down the tubes. Hmm. Jump earlier with this. There we go, like that. So that's like how. Oh, hello. Secret. Oh shit. Wait, now I want to do that. Now this is all I care about. It's just doing that much. Also, I believe that's my life meter next to where it says rest seven. God forbid it says lives. I hate when it says rest. Also, by the way, it seems he's got a little bit of momentum too. Whoa. Hey, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's just for, it's for points, but it looks like I got an extra life too. Oh, wait. I got two extra lives. All right, well, that's two extra lives right there. Not bad. There you go. Not a bad way to start. Got some crazy plant. I don't know. Yeah, so one thing, the controls with this, see how he slides a little bit? He He's slidey, but he has, uh, he has, mo like, he has momentum is where I'm going with this. Oh, shit. Hang on, I gotta get that. Uh, well, I got a bomb. Is that life? Shit. Okay, let's see how we use this. All right, so I have a bomb. Okay, so like kind of like Castlevania or something. It's like up and B. You can. Does it come back? Oh, do you only get one fucking bomb? Seriously, one bomb. That sucks. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I got those extra lives. Okay, so now it starts you here, so it's almost like a screen by screen deal. There we go. Okay. And now I got like a fireball or something. Oh shit. It is slippery. Oh, motherfucker. Oh my god, that guy shoots out weapons? This is weird. Alright, let me try it. Hey, it's the worm from Sesame Street, which we have an emote of. I don't think it's in there right now, but uh, Slimy from Sesame Street. Alright, let's see this. Hey, Fireball. Let's check that out. Boom! Okay. Let's do that again. So I'm hitting up and B to get, so basically if I just hold B, see now I get the star and then, oh, I was gonna say if I hit up and B, it's limited use. You can only use it so many times. Shit. I thought I was gonna have that forever. Nope. Okay, you can push this thing. Woo, there it goes. 
Hey, he's looking in the porthole. That reminds me of, I was just playing Legendary Wings for NES. And there was little like porthole things like that. We always do things like that. Thank you, Assassins1982, for the host. Why is Kirby so green? More like, like Bub and Bob or something, right? Slippery surfaces. What's up, I've got. Thank you, Akiz09 and uh, Popmosphere for the subs. Uh, it was quite expensive, Luke. That's okay, Don. Thank you. Kirby meets Mega Man. Come on, Slimy. Okay. Now, I don't know what that item even is over there. Oh, shit. I'm gonna, I guess I'll try to get it. Oh, it's a full energy fill. Okay, well, that was worth it. Okay, so yellow gummy berry juice is full energy. Let's see if I can grab this, too. Okay, this is the bomb, right? So, let's see if I can do this. Hmm. Mm. You guys are going to have to watch me sh struggle trying to get these controls down. Got it. Okay. Now, now I know only one use with that, so I'll have to be careful. Oh, fuck. Okay, so like electric. What? Okay, I guess I can't kill him. Fucker. No. All right. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh. Okay. Let's try it again. I really can't kill this guy. Oh, he left anyway. Oh, fuck them. I don't know what you have to do to get rid of them. All right, I guess this is like sort of first boss or something. Okay. Let's try it again. If I kill that guy? Well, at least I can kill him. If I had that fireball, I could shoot it out at this boss. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm gonna back up there, I guess. Mm. Oh, there we go. All right. I guess you consider that the first boss or first level. I don't even know. And a door opens in the sky. I don't know. Weird, weird game. That whole jumping on the star thing is kind of tricky. Yes, Chris B. 160. It is not easy to do. Froggy Rocks asks, what the fuck is this game? Lol, 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 lol. Um, this is Mr. Gimmick for NES. It is a very rare, uh, but supposedly good and hard, uh, PAL game. And you can see, well, I guess it, I have the image on there, but there's a little, there's a, there's a goofy little bird here. I don't know if he has anything to actually do with the game. Very strange. I don't know. You, you probably know about as much as me, really. It looks silly as fuck, basically. Somebody like the spinies from Mario. Okay, so two hits. 
You can get rid of him. <sighs> and put, just push it off. I don't know. Alright. Okay, we're going to a ship, I guess. Can I jump up here? No. Oh, fuck. Really? It's a hell of a lot of knockback. That's okay. You guys know I love games with knockback. Like Castlevania. It's my favorite. They did a nice job on those clouds in the background, making them not look like copy-pasted sh shit. Let's do it like that. Let's try that. There we go. There we go. Zoop. Bada boop. Mm-mm. They do. All right. You think if I go, if I go to the edge here, there'll be something if I go this way? Oh ho! Oh. Wait, can I go back? And you can go back, and I can also go up. So this is interesting. So there's multiple pathways. Interesting. Wait. Let's see if I can get up here. Ah. Mmm. That is hard to do. Damn it! It's gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> if I get further back. Ah! It's so hard. It's like I can do it sometimes. There! Oh my god. The fuck is that? Uh oh, what's happening? Wait, can I not have this? Oh, I already have this, so I can't grab it, huh? Is that what they're telling me? They're saying, fuck you, you can't have it because you already got a bomb. Fine. Well, I'd like to get some health. You think I could grab it and it turns into health? That would be nice to- Oh shit, can you farm? Hold up. Oh! Come on! I should be able to grab this, no? Wait a second. Isn't that like health or something? It's gonna disappear. Wait, 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 wait. Anybody in here play that? This game? What do I do there? It wouldn't let me grab it. My inventory is full, but I only have the one bomb. Can you only hold one thing? Wait, 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 wait. So there, there's three bo on the bottom right of the screen. There's three boxes, but I think I only have one bomb. Last time I went to use the bomb, it only let me drop one bomb. So I basic. So let's say I get rid of the one bomb. I guess it'll clear that inventory space. And then maybe I could have picked up that item, but then why is there three slots? No, you have three bombs, one is just highlighted? Well, oh my god, the fucking analog. Alright, well, that was me. So I was, so let's talk about what just happened. So I was gonna try to toggle through the menu to select one of the other bombs, because I don't really know how this game works yet. And when you're playing on the analog NT, if you hit select and up, it resets the fucking thing. So that's what just happened. Uh, my fault, but like, uh, but also now I need to know how to, I'm gonna need to know how to uh, like toggle through the weapons. Like if, I, like if I wanted to go to the next bomb, like how can you do that?
The lighter one is the selective bomb. I wonder what select does without hitting up. It says which knight? Okay. Let's. That's not. That's also not a bad question. All right. So I'm starting over. So now I got to be careful not to do that. And again, the reason why I'm playing on the analog NT is because it has settings that you can set the system to PAL, and this is a PAL B game. So that's the only way I could get it to work. I was talking about that in the very, very beginning of the stream. But uh, basically, I tried to get the, this game to work on my um, on my top loader NES that I usually use. And it, it, the, you know what's really weird? So the game would work, but uh, may, maybe I'll show at the end of the stream like what it does. But the game would work, but the menu on the bottom, like where it says rest and all that, it gets like all fucked up. Um, because I guess that that's the glitch that happens when it's like pal and you're you know trying to play it or whatever. So fortunately, I have this analog NT and I'm able to play the game the right way, sort of the right way. <laughs> but um, that's what happens. God damn it, this is hard to do. <coughs> so I'm still on the first screen here. This is going well. All right, there it is. This is gonna be a long stream. All right, here's our extra lives. Start walking back. They're like, that's okay, Mike. It can be a long stream as long as you're not fucking playing Dead Space anymore, basically. Who feels that way? <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I like Dead Space is really fucking good, so it's, it's like hard to stop playing that game. Like I really like it. Zeptomaniac feels that way. God damn it. Can't look away for a second. Alright, now I have the fireball. <coughs> but now I have a bomb. So wait, so see that? So I have the fireball and the bomb. I'm gonna hit select, but only select, and not select them up. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Start just pauses it. I know that up and B will let me fire the weapon, which I need to do that right here anyway, so. And then it goes to the bomb. So maybe it's just, you know what? I think it, I think maybe you can't like select the next item. I think it's whatever the item that's highlighted is the item that you're on. I don't think you get the, I don't think it gives you the choice. It's just whatever it's on is what it seems to be. See, I figured you'd be able to like hit select or something and like, and go to the item, like choose the item that you want, but it doesn't look like you can do that unless Selecting down changes slots. Well, I don't think. Okay. I mean, really? Select button has no use in the game. <laughs> slots. Yeah. Beavis likes that word. <clears throat> slots. All right. I have two things here. Let's see if. Let's see if this is true. So, cyborg cable says select and down. No, that brings up like an analog menu. You know what, now that that came up, I can show you what I had to do though, to get this game to work. So you go to here and you go to video, and you go down to TV standard, and see how it's selected to PAL? That's how I got the game to work. And I don't typically like to... Now how do I get this off? Oh, there. Okay. Well, select and down. No, I didn't know that either. That, that's how you get that to come up if you want, I guess. All these things we're learning.
See, and that's the kind of thing, like, let's say I had, let's say I got, like, another PAL B game, and in five years, I'm like, oh, I gotta do a PAL, like, a PAL game, because I usually don't. I'll, I'll totally forget this, and I'll just end up putting the game, like, into my regular NES, and I'll go through the same exact thing, because it'll be such a long time in between having to play a PAL game. I'll just completely forget. So, that's what happens. <laughs> Thank you, Cyborg Cable, for the tier one sub. It switched the items. No select, just down. Oh, wait a second. Oh, motherfucker. So it wasn't selecting down. Look at that. That's how you do it. So you can do that. So I'm not crazy. That is a thing. See, I, I figured you'd be, you should be able to toggle. So there you go. You can do it. It's just down. You know what I also just realized? I do have the instruction manual. That, that would have been smart to do too, wouldn't it? Let's see if it's in English. No. It is in... Uh, is it Swedish? You guys want to see the instruction manual? Here. I'll show you the instruction manual. God damn it. Here. There, let's just, there's the instruction manual. All the cute little characters are German. Isn't there a Super Nintendo game called this? It was like Skull Jagger or something. <laughs> Anybody know what the fuck I'm talking about? It's a Scandinavian language. That's what I, I, I said Swedish, I don't know. Super Skull Fucker. It is Swedish? Oh, I was right then? Okay, apparently it is Swedish. See, I was right. Do you like how I'm part German and part Swedish and I have no fucking idea and I can't read any of that? Is that sad? <laughs> I can barely read English, so. <laughs> so, to be honest with you. <laughs> so it's no surprise I can't read this. This instruction manual has many, many pages. And I get to enjoy, see, I'm enjoying things like this. This is, this is the part of it that I enjoy right here. Look at that drawing. That's like a Mike Matei drawing right there. It sucks almost as bad as one of my fucking drawings. <laughs> see, like this shit right here. Like I could, I could totally draw that. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyway, the point is hitting down. We're getting we're getting really far with this. You are not a true Swedish Klingon. That's right. The Borg, you know, sounds Swedish. Thank you, Zombie Clone Live, for subbing Tier One. And then sometimes, because I'm also Romanian, sometimes people are like, oh, well, do, can you, you speak Romanian? I, okay, listen, I am uh, Scandinavian, German, Romanian. I cannot speak or read any of it, for the record. You know what I can read? This right here. It says G.I. Joe in English. I can read that. That's it. Done. And down, and down below, you see, you see underneath the box, where it says, Mike Matei Live. I've gotten that far, I can read that much. I can read my own name. That's about it. <laughs> Mike's full blood in New Jersey? Yeah, exactly, that's pretty much it. Pretty much. Anyway, we're playing Mr. Gimmick today. 
and I'm getting nowhere quickly. <clears throat> All right, so we got three things, and I can alter between them. Now I'm happy. Require words. Wait, what about Pac-Man though? What, just playing the game doesn't require reading? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but you have to re be able to read their names. Pinky, Ink, Blinky, and Clyde, right? And then is Sue Miss Pac-Man? And then uh, I'm trying to think of Junior Pac-Man. Junior Pac-Man, Pinky, Inky, Blinky, and what do they fucking call it? They like change up the names between each one. Tim, I think you know. I think it's Tim, Pinky, Inky, Blinky, and Tim. Pretty sure. Did I watch the Incredible Hulk TV series growing up? Uh, no, not really. Like Lou Ferrigno. I mean, I I know of it. At some point, I saw, like, an episode, but I didn't, like, watch it now. I was too busy watching whatever, the Golden Girls or fucking Roseanne or... I mean, I watched a lot of older, like, shows from the 70s and 60s and all that. I love, like, All in the Family and, uh, you know, I don't know, like, Different Strokes and... Whatever. But no, I didn't really watch that though. Ah, oh, damn it. This is so hard to do. There. It's really fucking difficult. I have a feeling that's gonna become like really necessary to do that later. <laughs> and, like I'm gonna have to get good at that. Um, it's a terrifying thought get, that I'm gonna have to get good at that. Get good, bruh. <laughs> God. Uh, take it. There. Now. They counted as one. But I, at least I was able to do it. I did it. Learning. Oh my God. Uh, all right, I have an idea. Let's see if I can do this. I was thinking that if I, maybe I could ride this thing across, like ride the star, but like, if I throw the star in front of me, I can't catch up to it. What if I throw it, what if I throw it down? No. I thought maybe I could like ride it over somehow. That's the bird on the box right there. Oh yeah! Good point. There he is. What if I do, what if I do like, oh, can I, aha, I had to wait for him in full life. So you just wait for him, all right. So is, so is that the final boss? That is, and that is the end of the game. That was Mr. Gimmick, how'd you guys like it? Pretty good, right? Oh, shit. Mm, shit, pickles. Is 
Son of a bitch. happened my TV went out too I cannot win with this uh, fuck uh, all right G uh, give me a second. <laughs> Fuck. I'll be back. Uh, let me fix this. I just I, I reset the system and it's it's back it works now but now I'm back at the beginning again so I guess I just go again and hope that nothing happens I don't have any idea what just happened so <laughs> I have no idea what happened it just it all just died on me all of a sudden I guess I just gotta hope for the fucking best here. It's probably the analog NT for you. It's probably why well, I don't like using it. But I mean, at least it's letting me play this. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't fuck up again. That's all I can say. I don't know. I have no clue what, what happened. Damn it. And what was I on, like level two or three there now? Well, now at least I know I'm doing a little more. Maybe I can get back there quicker. <laughs> if you're just joining, this is Mr. Gimmick for NES. It's what happens when you play on on real systems and real old consoles, you know. It's just constant technical problems. It's like, and who would think I would have a technical problem when I'm trying to, you know, play on things like modded ColecoVisions, you know? Should be no problem. Or when I play, you know, Atari 5200. I expect that controller to work perfectly. I did that. I, I, that was me. I, I hit it by accident. <sighs> because 
I'm trying to fucking remember. It was up and up and B to switch the fucking weapon. I hit I hit select. Okay. Let's consider this the beginning of a stream. <sighs> Hi, welcome to Mike Matei Live. This is the beginning of the stream. Today I'll be playing Mr. Gimmick for NES. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. Alright. Can you disable that feature? I don't know. Can you? Because that would be fucking amazing if you could disable that feature. Is it actually, does anybody know if you can disable it? Because what if I'm like an hour into playing the game and I accidentally fucking hit it? Check in the menu. Yeah, all right. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see how that's done. If anybody knows, let me know. I don't even... System, maybe? Fuck, I don't know. Controller mode? Um, I don't know. Hotkeys? Is it this because the game resets? Video switch. I don't know what video switch is. Game reset. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, here, I'll just disable it. If it'll go down there. I'll just, there. Okay. Maybe that'll do it. Alright, let's see if I do it now, if it resets it. Oh my god. It doesn't work now. That's great. Fucking, that's amazing that you can turn that off. Alright, cool. Okay, now it's not gonna fuck me up anymore. Cool! All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset this. We're gonna start from the beginning, and now that shouldn't fuck me up anymore. Hi! Today I'll be playing Mr. Gimmick for NES. It's very easy to set up. No problem at all, just stick it right into your Nintendo. No problem. <laughs> all right. Fuck. That, that setting better stay there, too, when that... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it right from the beginning, make sure it doesn't do it. Okay, it's it stayed. Good. <sighs> All right. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. That, so that was a yellow... Um, item there, but it didn't fill my health up all the way, where the other yellow gummy berry juice thing did. So I guess there's different yellow gummy berry juices. Because I think the one I got filled up my health all the way. And that one didn't. Authentic cartridges. Much more of a pain in the ass than is necessary. <laughs> Honestly. Alright. Fuck. Oh, you can go back up again? Alright. Alright, slimy the worm. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. That's better. See, and I thought that um, PAL games would work on the top loader because I, I guess I, I have some that do. Like I was saying, that new Ghostbusters 2 seems to work with no problem. 
So it's, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's strange. Fucking fuck you thing. Jesus. See, that one filled it completely up. So what was the difference between that jar and the other jar? I'm gonna compare those sprites back to back. They both were yellow, weren't they? Turn off the power off, hotkey. Miso Jar Jari Jar Jar Miso Jar Jari Jar Jar What is the hotkey for the power off on the analog NT? Unfortunately, it's only the button on the back of the system Oh wait, are you guys actually saying that there's literally a power off thing? You're like not kidding Oh, wait a second. Okay, wait, 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 wait. People are being serious. I thought you were making a joke about that. Like, like, oh, you know what you should do, Mike? Power off the system. Okay, wait. Okay, so apparently people are being serious about that. Uh, hang on. So, wait, what? Oh, this right here, right? Where it says power off. Let's choose that. Power off, yes, or back. Well, no, I don't want to power off the system, so let's go back. Go to the hotkeys. Oh, here's the power off for the hot hotkey for this. Here we go. Let's just en enable this. So wait. So you know what? That's probably what. That's what I must have hit when it quit the other time. Oh my god. Why would they even? I don't know why they would have that. That's fucking dumb. I mean, it's good that you can turn it on and off, but like Jesus fucking Christ, I didn't know that was a thing. See, I don't normally use this analog NT, like, ever, so I don't know about any of this shit. I don't fucking do this. You know what I do? I take the cartridge and I put it into my top loader and fucking play it. That's it. And it's usually fine. Other than this fucking game, because this pal wouldn't let me fucking... I'll, sh I'll show you later what happens when I put it when I put the cartridge in the regular system. It's like, it's weird. Um, anyway, where am I going? I'm going up now. Now I'm like all discombobulated. See, it's a good thing I'm figuring this all out now on stream, because if I decided to do this with James for James and Mike Monday, that would be half the recording day right there. And then you'd get, then you'd get one episode of Mr. Gimmick where we make it to two stages in, and then we'd have to divide it into four episodes. That'd be great. <laughs> this is why I have to live stream. Do you see now why I have to do live streams? <laughs> All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get off the edge of the cliff. Fucker. <sighs> Yay! Now hopefully nothing else stupid happens. Mike is the beta tester, basically. You guys are too. Some of you people help me out. You're helping me beta test this shit. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Fuck it! We'll do it live. Fucking thing! Fucking thing sucks! 
Maybe Bill O'Reilly was talking about the analog ante. Only that it was too long ago. No, I think he, he was it was the teleprompter, right? He didn't like the teleprompter. <laughs> you can probably like bounce across this whole thing like on the star or something but like I don't know how to do any of that shit so don't like, don't expect like things out of me all right <laughs> expect nothing when you come here I guess that's clearly what you're gonna get fuck I cannot do that Ah, oh, it's so hard. Here. Mmm. I hate this fucking guy. Pillsbury Dough Man. Oh no. Pillsbury Dough Motherfucker! Yeah! Mm. God, that's all my health left. Give me health, give me health. All right, we're waiting for you, bird. There he is. Ha ha! And there's my health. All right. Oh yeah, this shit. Yes! I didn't even have to use the fireball. Well, look at me. All right, two stages. That is a cute pirate blob, isn't it, though? I'm sharing out my stream on Instagram. See, now I'm glad I waited, because I got through a lot of the troubleshooting. If you, if you want to check out my Instagram, by the way, it's Mike Mate Live. Just like the Twitch. And you can actually see the uh, cartridge and the analog and whatever. That's what I put. All right. It looks like something from Kirby. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are talking about this. is probably inspired by that. He doesn't float like Kirby, though. Sorry. Oh my god, it's gonna be claw grip from Mario 2. Oh shit! Fuck, it is like Mario 2. Oh, the waterfalls. F fuck off with these things. Like, listen, uh, listen, game, I've only got so many. All right, fine, I'll tell you what. Fucker. I, I wanted to save my fireball, but I guess I don't get to do that. Ah! Jesus Christ! <sighs> Not an easy game.
I mean, they keep backing up. Can I just get them to keep backing up until they fucking fall into the like water? Like. Jesus Christ. Mm. Back! <coughs> All right, you motherfuckers. Oh, by the way, guys, I went to see a movie. I saw the I saw the movie that should have been named Harley Quinn, but then they named it Harley Quinn. What do they call it the Birds of Prey, the the magnif magnificent adventures of the magnificent fantabul fantabulous magnificent Harley adventures of Harley Quinn or something. Brilliant naming. Um, I don't know what the hell they were thinking, naming it, what the hell, like, no, like, just call it fucking Harley Quinn, and then after the movie comes out, and it's been out for, like, two weeks, and the, and the movie's, like, bombing, they're like, hey, hey, the movie's bombing, uh, you think there's anything we can do? Uh, um, <clears throat> how, how about just name it Harley Quinn? Hey, that's not a bad idea, let's do that. So they renamed it. They should have done that from the start. Anyway, the uh, the movie itself uh, was uh, was was entertaining. I uh, oh shit, fuck, 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 fuck. The uh, there was there was one part of the movie that actually made me laugh pretty pretty hard actually, but it would be a total spoiler. It would it would ruin the entire movie if I said it, but it's a thing that happens very close to the end of the movie. Um, so I'm not gonna say what it is, but there was a funny part that I actually laughed at. It was alright. It was okay. It wasn't amazing, but it was alright. So. I don't know what to do about these fucking guys. Oh no. Well, leap of faith. Boss? No. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. What are these arrows gonna do to me? What the hell is this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God! What? Did I see cats? No, I did not see cats. hell was that? me from there. Son of a bitch, what even are these things? Fuck! Oh. oh, 
you can jump on top of them? All right, hang on. Jesus, are they gone forever? I hope so. Oh, these things are horrible. No, no! Ah! What did I get myself into with this? Oh, 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 that's fireball. I think I want it. Oh God, get away from me. Mm. They respawn. Strong too. Probably have to use a fireball or something. All right, this is probably the boss, huh? Oh God. Son of a bitch! <sighs> this fucking weapon. I don't know about this weapon. Coffee time. Whoa! This game's hard. You right? Almost as hard as it was to get it to work. Sounds like you're having some trouble. Yeah. yeah. You played this before, right? Um, yeah. Like, ten years ago. And I never got very far. Um. Yeah, it's, uh, like, I didn't know it was going to be so hard. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, um, at least you got it going now. Right? I do have it going now. The analog NT is a pain in the ass. I, see, I never used one, actually. So, there are multiple things that will cause your game to quit. Okay. So, if you hit... Besides slightly touching the cartridge. The, that, yeah, don't fucking <laughs> even say that. Um, so, I have... If you hit... if you're, Let's say you're playing the game, mm -hmm. and you hit up and B, it'll reset the game. Oh, my God. Think of how easy it could be to hit up and B. That's very easy. Or, um... I think it was up and B or up. And, no, I'm sorry. It was up and up and up and select. Okay. I'm sorry. It was up and select to reset your game. Yeah. Then the other thing is, uh, I forget what the other combination was, but there's like some other like you hit a couple other buttons. And you know what the other two buttons do? What? Turn the power off on the system. <laughs> so I had to. So holy I, shit. So to get this to work, I had to number one set the system to PAL. Okay. In the settings. Yes. Number two, make sure that the game reset won't game reset, because I don't want the game to fucking reset in the yeah. middle of me playing, so I had to disable the game reset, mm -hmm. and then I had to disable the system from powering off if I hit the wrong button combination. Well, it better be That was before it. even getting to the game. Well, hopefully it turns out to be worth it. Probably not. I don't think so. You see this fucking bird right here? I like him. <laughs> That's the best part of the game. Is this fucking bird I got right him, there? By the way, <laughs> the Fuck. bird's the best part. At least make it to the best part of. Just make it to the bird. If the bird's even in the game, see, I, I never, did. I've already made. it I to never bird. made it past like level two or one. Or I don't blame you. I don't know. I barely made it past level one. So good if, luck. Actually, I don't even know if I was on level one. I don't even know. I don't know. Well, you're in the woods now. Yeah, I guess this is like level two or three or something. I don't fucking know. Well, I'll leave you alone. Good luck with that. Enjoy your coffee. Maybe it'll give you some extra pep in your step. I would recommend not playing this game. I don't really want to. It's like, well, now that I I'm playing I like the music. Now that I'm playing it, it's like... Gimmick has good music. It's like... I don't, I don't think I like the star weapon. Yes. Because the stuff. Did you just give me a bunny ears I was or something? I'm trying to, but that doesn't work for the same um, one when here, you're looking I'll do, I'll directly at me. It's I'll not do the it same. For you. Um, so, let me show. Don't leave yet. I want to show this to you. Okay. So, this is the. I mean, I know you've played it before, but, like, this is the star weapon. Mm hmm. And, like, I'm going to try to hit these fucking enemies. So, you got to wait for it to charge up. Oh, 
Let's see if I can find one of these. You, know, you wait for it to charge up, and then it, you can like bounce it off of off of shit, and it'll bounce around. And until the th that thing is gone, you, you can't, can't do it again. you can't fire again. That sucks. So it's like, you think about like in Mega Man, if he could only fire one bullet, and and it's like pellet, whatever the fuck they call it, Mega Man. Power pellets. Power pellets. Pee pee. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I think I need coffee. <laughs> or I'm just gonna p go to Red Bull. I'm gonna get Red Bull. PP. I wish I didn't say that, but I did, and now we gotta live with it and move on. I'm calling Mega Man's power up PP from now on Ugh. because of you. Anyway. Congratulations, Moblin Slayer, on the new baby. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh he slid back! Ooh. What if he had ice skates on? Would that be adorable? That'd be frightening. Are you kidding? I don't want any ice involved in this. Fuck! There. Yay! Don't worry, I'm sure he only takes 90 hits. And if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. So you wait for him to stop. All right. Fuck. Motherfucker got him. Nice. Oh, this game has momentum too, so it's like you're constantly like sliding around. So it is kind of like you're on ice, by the way. Well, this sounds absolutely awful. So this, so basically, I'm assuming that these are levels. So I've, I've basically, I guess, beaten three levels now. Okay. Because each one of these, I guess, with the guys with the flags counts, <laughs> I guess, as a level. They're and, waving and their the flags around. Yeah. Woo! Wee! All right. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Mutton Chop says, a lot of pee pee in this game. A lot of piss in this game. What is that, Marvel Slayer? <laughs> Rip Sunsoft. Well, eh, let's be fair. I haven't decided yet, by the way, whether or not I like the game or not. I'm just listing off some things that, as my, this is my first time playing it, my, my true feelings to you about Mr. Gimmick and how, and how I feel about it. It might be, like... Say like the first time I played um, on stream Shinobi 3, I had a lot of trouble at first with getting like the double jump down and all that. The more you play Shinobi 3, you know, um, you get more and more comfortable with the controls. I love Shinobi 3. It's one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. First time I played it, I was like, what the fuck is with these fucking controls? But you gradually play it and play it and play it and you get more and more used to it. So I have a feeling that this is that type of game where it's like the more you play it, you get more used to the controls and then you, and then it probably gets better. I actually felt that way about, I think it was, uh, I think it was Little Samson. I think I played it through, I want to say I played it through twice on stream or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking a little Nemo. One of those little games. One of those little fuckers. Uh, one of those games. It was like the second time I played through, I liked it a lot better because I knew that I knew what I was doing more, you know? See, that's a, that's the thing too. I get myself in trouble because uh, somebody will be watching my stream or, or they'll watch a video, but they won't watch the entire thing. Um, I can't really blame some people. You know, I do a five hour fucking stream of something. So th they might be watching and it's like, let's say the first 30 minutes of me playing a game and I'm like, I don't fucking, I don't like this star weapon, right? And then, and then, then I hear two weeks later, oh, Mike Matei hates Mr. Gimmick. But then you come back in like three hours, maybe I decide that this is one of my favorite Nintendo games now because it's like opinions change, you see. That's what happens. Thank you, Brutal. 
Do I think James would like this? Uh, I, I want to show it to him, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if, if he does. Little Emperor. Thank you, Tilty McStreamer, for subbing with Twitch Prime. And thank you very much for the host, Ninja Gaming. Is that how the saying goes, Mike? Opinions are like assholes. They change. Well, do you want to describe to us how your asshole changes? We'll, we'll all wait for, for which night to tell us about how assholes change. I, I want to know. Y1TT says, it puckers when I eat tacos. <laughs> Untouchable doesn't want to know. And I don't blame you, good sir. <laughs> Moblin Slayer says, assholes don't really change, do they? According to which night, assholes change. All right, here's the answer. Here's what, here's what they say. Which night says, I'm not really sure but I've seen the nerd dump on a rabbit before. That had to have shifted some things around. Touche, good point. That is true. Ah! That remi this fucking thing reminds me of is it, uh, uh, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the game on NES, uh, oh my god, there, there's an NES game that I'm trying to think of, Tom Sawyer, maybe I'm thinking of Tom Sawyer, that has a fucking thing that looks exactly like that. You guys know Tom Sawyer on NES? Or whatever that game is? Now I gotta look it up. Yeah, Adventures of Tom Sawyer on NES. Isn't, isn't there a, like a dinosaur in that? Yeah, you know what? Yes, there is. I just saw a picture of it. But it doesn't look like that, really. So never mind. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Um, can I, like, tame the beast here, or what? Yeah, fuck yeah, I tame the beast. All I had to do was smack it around a bit. And the beast, the beast is now tamed. Own the throne. That's right, untouchable. I just had to hit the G spot and it is now tamed. Whoa! But what the hell is that by the way? So, I'm hoping that this continues because I am, whoa, I'm on my last life. Like completely on my last life here. I really don't want to start over completely from the beginning. So this very well could be a game that you get the nine lives and then it's a game over. So we're gonna find out if this continues. Damn it. Don't be game over completely. Let's say. Please have a continue. Okay, it has continue. Oh, okay. 
Maybe it's it might, maybe it's infinite. That'd be fucking nice. If you if you use continues and you don't get all the happy items, you don't get the happy ending. The happy ending. I'll let my chat talk about that. Son of a bitch. Ooh, I can get, I can ride on that guy. There we go. All right. Progress made or not. Fuck. Damn it. All right, you fuck. Ah-ha. I wish, I wish uh, Mr. Gimmick here had like a machine gun or something. I, I, hate, I hate waiting for the star to recharge. It's like right there, it's like I still can't use it until the fucking star is like off the screen. I'm not, uh, I'm not a big fan of the star. shit going on. Come on now. Ha! Ha! Burn! Burn! Burn like a flame hyenard. Ah! No! Get out of here. Aha! Might as well use it now while I have the chance. There you go. Because you know, like, later, I'll forget or I'll just die or won't be able to use it, so just use it now. There you go. See, now I'm definitely happy that I used it. Oh. oh God. Oh God. Oh my God! No problem, I got this. How do you ride the star? I don't know because like, this isn't the best area to show it, but like, let's say I throw it in front of me. It's like, how am I supposed to catch up with it? It's like, it's like 20 feet. As soon as I throw it, it's 30 feet in front of me. It's like, look how slow this motherfucker goes. Like, I don't know. I mean, I can, I can do like that, but it's like, if you throw it against the wall, you can like do that and ride the star. weapon and like it doesn't work like it doesn't kill the fucking enemy like sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't I guess you gotta hit him in the back or something
I don't like the, how the star like doesn't kill the enemies. Nah, I can't get away from them. Like, this weapon sucks. It's like yeah, you have to hit him in the back. I don't like. I don't like that. this look and that and I shot him from the front that time but it killed him even though other times it would only hit him from the back I don't fucking know. I guess if, like, if I'm on top of this star, maybe I can jump. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you get over that either. Fuck. Well, I'll be able to hit him in 14 minutes when the star comes back. Just play Mappy Land. For that last flame, do a jump in place and then a quick one to get over it. Lean, lean towards the wall. Okay. I don't know if I understand that, but I'll try. Understand hitting enemies like that. Like, why did that hit him right there? And uh, like, uh, I already hit him like 15 fucking times in the head with the star, and that time it decided to work. Why didn't it work the other times? Oh. Fuck! I need this guy to not be here right now. I gotta like get rid of this fucking thing to be able to grab that. It's, it's such a pain in the ass. I think this is the one I was talking about. So, what did you say? Lean again. Jump in place and then a quick one to get over it. Can't, you can't double jump. As far as I know. Wait, what? And lean towards the wall? Well, maybe that's what you, you meant. Oh my god. 
stand on their head and hit them with the star without jumping. How do you get the new gimmicks? What's that bomb on the bottom? You pick them up randomly, and the, the bomb is something that you can use once and then it goes away, so it's basically it sucks. I'll use it though, I mean. Oh my god, if I can even get the fucking thing on. And the game has like this weird fucking momentum here. I'll use the bomb. It's like Friday the 13th weapon. It goes over all the fucking enemies. now <sighs> I fucking hate these guys wait now why did that kill him he was running towards me what Did that actually count as a hit? Oh, whoa, wait, what? Oh, he's dead? That's not even the boss, great. I thought that was the fucking boss. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna want me to jump up there like this. Oh! How I do that? Wait, what? Maybe maybe you can't get up there. Unless, wait a second, before it was jump. Maybe if it's like, oh shit, like that or something. What if I go like this? No, wait. Hmm. If I hit it against there. Oh, there! Shit, okay. so I can get over to that. I don't think I can just run and make it to it. Damn it. Maybe you can. I'm gonna run and jump to it. Oh, damn it. Wonder if I get back there. Oh, you can get back at least. It's gotta be, let me try it again. Let's see, maybe I just didn't go far enough on the edge. Damn it. There's gotta be a way to ride this thing, but the this hallway blocks you from doing that. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if it's possible. At least I ain't dead, that's true. See, it's like I can ride, but then the, the thing just stops. So there's like, if it's like, if the bomb, if the star actually kept going. <sighs> How do I get it to do that, but get on it too? There, like that. Wow, that's looking fucking luck. Get, oh, 
If this ceiling was a little higher. <sighs> Is this really what you're supposed to do? Oh! Jump off of it! Something like that. Ugh. Jump! Wait a second, can you jump off the star? It's like not letting me jump off the star. Oh my god. If you run while throwing it, does it get extra oomph? Oh, I don't know. Do you have to move to get it to go like for, like stronger? Maybe. That's not a bad idea. Damn it! Reach for the stars. Like that! All right. Now I cannot fuck this up. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Points. Oh Jesus. Uh, wait, what? Well, I got the lives. Okay. The fuck? I thought there'd be like, wait, there's nowhere to go down there. go down. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I hate these. Fo oh, do you, do you follow me to the next screen? I didn't know they could do that. Oh fuck. There's no way to get back down either. I know where to go. I'm gonna try going to the left first, too. Ugh. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, there is nothing over there anyway. All right. Imposing of looking enemies. It's gonna be the hardest one. Oh, now they're not gonna come? Fucking game.
couldn't give anything. Mike, do you ever wear hats? No. Fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Can I even hit those with my stars? Thank you, Just Stay Quiet, for the sub. Oh, you motherfucking... once again suck <laughs> and don't hit the missiles so I guess I gotta fucking like jump out of the way of them get the hell out of here literally doing the Kirby breath charge attack Maybe you can't kill him? Fuck. Oh, shit. Ugh. Ugh. Reminds me of the DuckTales minecart. Uh-oh, uh-oh. is this oh god hey I actually did something Oof. oh my god no ah yeah. uh oh god oh god there you go 
Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Fucking. Dumb. Uh. Mmm. Uh, maybe I gotta wait for him to be on that edge. Okay. I'm gonna wait for you to be over here. Damn it! Or, wait, no, I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, but I shot it. Fuck. Alright. Uh, can I, like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I can't really, like, bounce that off of there higher or something? <clears throat> okay. No idea. Oh, piece of shit. I don't fucking know. Ugh. Oh shit, it's Mr. Gimmick. Yes, Beardy Bruce Lee Central. Also, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that, just saw that. <sighs> you saw the Sonic movie today, surprisingly average. Not the dumpster fire you thought it would be. It's like, it's whatever. Shitty attack. I mean, I, I I think it's a shitty attack. All right, so I have no idea how to hit this guy. Which this is a big problem. No clue what to do. Did Fred Fox invent the attack? Seems like it. Thank you, J Dog. Should be like a way to get the star to go higher somehow. Maybe if I'm maybe if I'm like running. Or, I don't know. I think like tossing it on onto that platform would do something. It, maybe if I to toss it on the very top of this platform. I have no idea. Uh, like, <laughs> ooh, that seemed like it went higher. 
Hang on a second. Fuck. Oh, there. I have to jump higher. Don't die now. Now I just figured it out. Something like that. Oh, all right. So yeah. So it's like if you're high up and you toss it higher, it'll go higher or something. You have to wait forever for this fucking weapon. I don't have the patience. Like, I wish you could just throw the fucking stars. like also the fucking star is like if I can kill this fucking guy if I get the chance see how that how it like the star will hit the ceiling it's like what the fuck is that shit it like disappears if it's like not the right angle or fucking something what It's like maybe this is why they give you the fireball and the bomb, but like they you barely ever have a fireball and the bomb. And you get to use the fireball like one time or something. It's like I wish the whole game was just a fucking fireball instead of this shit fucking star. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing. Like, it's like I'm jumping off of the top part of this thing. Here. Like that? Come on. Is that not the fucking... What? What? <laughs> what? 
What? Oh, fuck this. So only if I, so it didn't give me the, uh, the, the yellow or the, um, actually, but how did I get that pink power up thing from earlier? I had a pink power up. I know I used it. Uh, maybe somebody like randomly dropped one. Cause that would be, that's probably the only way I fucking get through this. If I have like one of those, somebody must have randomly dropped one. You're glad Dead Space is done. Dead Space is far from done. I just made it to impossible mode. Was the potion on the platform? Well, there was a yellow potion, but the yellow potion fills up your energy, like right where you're at. There's a pink potion that you can carry with you and use like as an item when you want to use it. And that's what the one I was talking about. It's like impossible to fight that fucking thing. You mud farm this looks hard it's not so much this it, it, it's it is hard but it's more that it's just it's annoying it's not really my problem isn't that it's hard like I, I don't like the fucking like the main weapon in the game
ever played Kaizo Mario Hacks? Yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they're sometimes included in some of the hacks that I download. I can't fucking stand them. They're all like the same fucking gag. Like you start the game and then it's like a bunch of spikes and you die and it's like I fuck I hate that. I like quality hacks. Ones that are like more like a real fucking game. And like gradually ramp up in difficulty, like as you play. They don't just start and like drop you into a bunch of pits or whatever, and it's like, oh well if you would have been hitting um right if you would have tapped right and then hit B, then like you could have hit like this invisible platform and then jump to another invisible platform. It's like, fuck you, you know. It's like that's not even remote. Like I like hard games, but like that's just stupid. Thank you, V3 ND. I got no life left to do this ridiculous robot with. I wish I'd find like a sweet spot with this or something. These missiles are the worst. for not getting far in this fucking game. This is like, oh my god. How 
how do you design a game to be really annoying? Looks fun, doesn't it? Now I know why this didn't fucking come out here. Now I know very well why, so we've just discovered why this did not come out in the United States. How, uh, what's his name? Howard, uh, you know, Howard and Nestor, Howard, uh, Phillips or whatever. He probably fucking saw this game and was like, nope, nope. So he did it for Mario, the Japan Mario too. He saw that and he was like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> and I beat, I've beaten that game. Yeah, you guys know that. I've done it on stream. And uh, honestly, it's probably, it was probably a smart decision, honestly, because the majority of people were not gonna go through. We're not gonna go through that. Some people would, like. 0.05% of the people that play probably would do that. But most people would probably be like, fuck this. And people would be pissed. So I get, I get very well now why he fucking did that. Because it's like, they want to sell these games to a lot of fucking people, you know? You can't be, like, going off of, you know, the, the five guys out there, like me or whatever, that wants to fucking torture themselves to get through these fucking games. I'm getting very frustrated with this fucking...
I'm back to this lovely game. Let me catch up with my chat. We've seen Mike tirelessly play shmups like Gradius 5 until beating it. I believe he won't give up this challenge too easily. No, I'm not done yet. Has he beat Contra 3 on hard yet? Yeah, I, it's, yeah, a long time ago I, I did that. Took, that was very difficult, by the way. That took me, um, I remember I played it through on easy, on easy, because you can do easy, medium, and hard for that game, or easy, normal, hard, whatever it is, and I remember I was like, okay, I'm going to try to beat this game, and then I played it on easy, and I had a really, I think I had a really hard time getting through it on easy, so that took me like a couple days, I think, just to get through it on easy. And then when I did that, I did it on the next uh, normal or whatever. And then took me a few, I remember that one didn't take me too many tries. Like I, I beat it like in one or two tries or whatever, like cause I had already just beaten it on easy. So I beat it on normal and then I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna try it on hard. And then I tried it on hard and then it was like, then it was like starting over from, from the beginning because that game, at least for me, was like the, the difference between normal and hard was like, it was a big fucking gap. You know, it wasn't like a little bit harder. It was like a lot harder. Um, so then literally I, th I was playing that game for like a week until I finally was able to do that. Like, and I mean, I was like hammering that game like every fucking day for like a week um, and, and not playing anything else. And then, so finally my best run of that game is the video. It was fucking hard. That's a hard game, I thought. On hard, especially. It was very fucking hard. Sergeant Devil says, this is as fun as sticking a needle under your nail. That's about right. But you, you know that I, I like to play games like this. Because it pisses me off. Thank you, uh... Putz John for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. All right. So if you are just joining, I'm playing. Um, the hell's the name of this game? Mr. Gimmick. How is this blob thing? Is this, is this character Mr. Gimmick? How is this, like, dinosaur with a fucking point on his head a Mr. Anything? Well, I guess Miss Pac-Man is, like, a yellow, you know, circle with a fucking bow. And that's a Mrs., so I guess I guess this thing can be a Mr. Yeah, it's a fucking, I don't know. It's just, like, I don't know. It's just bizarre. You know what? Maybe they didn't they didn't bring it over so much for the fact that it was hard. Maybe they, maybe they were just like, "What the fuck is this?" That that's probably what it was. It had nothing to do with the game being hard. They were just like, "The fuck? What if? What the fuck?" They, it's, it's the the game designer Sunsoft. They they bring this to, to Nintendo, and they're like, "Hey, check out this game we made." And they're like, "Okay, sure." You guys made Batman. We're, we're gonna we're gonna give you guys the time of day. They have like this fucking boardroom meeting. It's like, a, you know, this this is how I imagine it. You know, thirty people sitting around a table. They put on the game, and they're like, "You want to see the character?" So here's the main character, this fucking green blob thing with a point on his head. And they're like, well, it looks fucking stupid. Um, but, I mean, like, our main thing is, like, a fucking plumber. L like, and, like, a toad and, like, you know, we got stupid shit, too. So, okay. We're, we're still with you. And they're like, all right. Well, I'm glad you're s still with us because you got you to gotta trust us. And they're like, all right, well, what's the name of the game? 
And the guy's like, Mr. Gimmick. And they're like, you know what? Just get out. Just get the fuck out of our office. Take your shit. Fucking... No, I'm not even paying attention. They're like, they're like, get the fuck out of here. That was that was at Nintendo of America. They're, they're like, you take your fucking Mr. Gimmick and you shove it up your ass. And that's how that went. And then a bunch of people later found this game and they're like oh you don't even know what you're missing out on you're missing out on a real gem here it's a real fucking gem alright he has a dumb like pointy fucking cone on his fucking head like bubble bobble Kirby reject blob character the fuck even is it? Nobody nobody knows. Nobody fucking knows. Like, I don't know. Nintendo didn't know. The guy making the game didn't know. He's just like, hey, I like Kirby and stars and stuff. And I wanted to make a game. And I couldn't make the character pink because everybody would just be like, oh, it's Kirby. So, you know what I did? I made him green. I put a fucking point on his fucking head. Now leave me the fuck alone, alright? Nintendo didn't even let my game come out in the United States. That was enough. Now you got a fucking rag on my fucking game from 30 years ago? Fuck you. I'm like, yeah, I am gonna rag on your game. And you know what's another thing? about it. The star weapon sucks. It fucking sucks. I throw it and I can't throw another one for fucking ten minutes until it's off the fucking screen. It's stupid. And the point on his head is fucking stupid too. Basically. You know what other game can go fuck itself? Th that fucking Jetsons game. Remember when I fucking beat that game? Dude, f you know what? Never again. Like, fuck that game. When I was a kid, I loved the Jetsons. I would watch the Jetsons. It would be like Saturday morning, eat my cereal, whatever, watch the fucking Jetsons. Like, happy fucking memories, right? After playing that fucking... NES Jetsons game, I never want to hear about the fucking Jetsons again. That game ruined the Jetsons for me for the rest of my life. Well, not exactly true. The, the Jetsons movie actually did that before the game did, but still. The, uh, the, the, the game was the, was the nail in the coffin for the Jetsons. George Jetson is fucking dead to me. Okay? So I guess I'm not supposed to hit the thing in the background now. I'm only supposed to go for the spider. Like I don't that guy's still hanging up there. Like I'm like half the time I'm trying to hit the guy hanging up there. But then there's the spider. Like I don't even know what fucking target I'm supposed to be fucking going for in this like second form. Some people are saying just a spider. All right, I'll go for the spider. Because I've been directing half my attacks trying to get the attack high enough to hit the guy up top, and the other half trying to hit the spider, because I don't even know which fucking guy I'm supposed to be hitting. So why does the second guy come back out? It's like, it's like fucking confusing. 
Like, just don't, like, have the spider come out and leave the other guy, like, off the screen. Because, like, I don't, like, in the first form of the fight, you're fighting the first guy, so... Like, I'm like, okay, do I still fight that fucking guy? Who am I supposed to be fucking fighting here? for the spider and this fucking asshole is still gonna come out on the top for no fucking reason other than to fucking confuse me but it's like you can't even fucking attack this fucking thing because the fucking stupid you know what another thing I hate about the star it goes down like it can't even fucking go straight like a normal fucking weapon It's like not fun. Like I hate throwing this fucking star, like jumping up and throwing the star down so it goes up and hits the top. Like I fucking hate it. Like that's the fucking problem with this. It's like the game is not fucking fun. Like I'll, I'll sit here and do this until I fucking beat it, but it's not like enjoyable. says your lighting is washing you out. 
This isn't a movie set. It's a fucking live stream on Twitch. It's not going to look great. I don't have fucking Peter Jackson over here lighting me. <laughs> like, what do you fucking want? Can you jump over the spider or change weapon? I mean, there's a bomb, but it's like every time I use the fucking bomb, it like goes. It, it's like Friday the 13th when the fucking rock goes over the fucking like enemies. It sucks. The only weapon I think I like is the fireball, but I don't even have that. Like, I wish the main weapon of the game was the fireball instead of this fucking piece of shit. called Mr. Fireball instead of Mr. Gimmick. I would much prefer it be called Mr. Fireball, because you know how good I am at naming things. I can come up with brilliant names like that, like Mr. Fireball. Like if the weapon was a, a stone, the game would be called Mr. Stone. Mr. Rock. Stonedar and Rock On. Alright, here, I'm gonna try to use this fucking thing. Here we go. I'm gonna use the bomb. Watch it, if it blows it up in one hit. Definitely did do damage, I mean. myself a car with this fucking thing. I should sell this fucking thing and buy a car. I think that would be a much better idea. We'll light it on fire. <laughs> and sell Mr. Gimmick and buy like a fucking Mazda or something. <laughs> Get a DeLorean. Yeah. Exactly. Sell Mr. Gimmick and buy a fucking DeLorean. Now that I have no bomb and no extra life, <laughs> isn't it great? Isn't it fucking great?
annoying. Nah, I don't have the fucking bomb to use or anything. pubic hair on fire than playing this fucking game. Like, it's just, it's torture. Look at, look at this fucking stupid thing. Make sure you don't hit it in the mask. You gotta hit it right behind the mask. If you hit it right behind the mask, then it'll die. God, oh my god. I hit it just perfectly at the exact right angle. That's how you do it. <laughs> so much better now. It's so much more fun when I hit the mask guys in the in the back part of their head instead of hitting them in the front with the mask with my star. My cool fucking star. Best weapon ever in any video game. Is the Mr. Gimmick's star. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck? Fuck plays this shit. Fucking, come on. What the fuck kind of game is this? What kind of asshole sits and plays this? Like, seriously. I feel like a fucking idiot sitting here and playing this fucking garbage. This character is like... It, it, the dumbest fucking thing I've ever fucking seen. Makes me I, like I go into the fucking grocery store and I see you're in the cereal aisle and you see all the like dumb fucking characters they have on children's cereal boxes. Like not even like the classic ones. I'm not talking about like Tony the Tiger and shit. About modern day 2020. You walk into the grocery store and they're they're like, here's a new cereal with the dumbest fucking character you've ever fucking seen and they slap it on the front of the fucking box. Like, that's what this fucking thing is. Here, eat your fucking Wheaties, asshole. Like, look at this fucking thing. How dumb is that? You want to see a good character design? Here. Like, this is much, this is better. N fucking, look at, by the way, also, look at this. Hold up a second. Let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this fucking art right here. Let's look look at this. Look at this art and look at this. This looks like some garbage that I drew. Like this is terrible. Who fucking drew this? This looks like like and I get it. Like there's cartoony styles and whatever, but this looks like this character is awful. Like, a f fucking five-year-old could draw this fucking character. Now, look at this. Look at that. That's f fucking art. This belongs on the front of a fucking NES box. Like, that's worthy. Uh, you know? What the fuck? It's probably another fucking reason. It's like, you know, and if, if it did come out... Uh, some games had, like, multiple covers. Like, um... Uh... Um, Guardian Legend is a NES game that had multiple covers. This thing needs fucking multiple covers. Yeah, Mega Man. Yo, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man looks like shit too. Like that that first one. I really like the later ones. Like like Mega Man Three though. That one looks really fucking good. Yeah. 
Yeah, that Mega Man box art is fucking ass. Damn it. Damn it. They make it so hard to hit. I hate this fucking game. Like, this spider is, like, next to impossible to hit. Who fucking designed this spider? The game was, like, relatively okay before this, but this spider is, like, you can't hit it. I'm gonna fucking make James fucking fight this spider. Let's see what he thinks. Make anybody fight this fucking spider. Oh my god. That spider would be a fine boss if you were playing as a character that could actually fight bad guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Armus FM says that hit detection on that boss is straight up bullshit. <laughs> well, Kirby is too easy, honestly. Kirby's, yeah, I mean, Kirby's a pretty easy game, but there's, there's a difference between being, like, difficult and being, like, bad difficult, though. This is bad difficult. You play like Batman on NES. You know, it's a tough game, but it, ne it never feels like it's bullshit. You know, it's just the, the game's hard. And and by the way, the, the thing about Batman on NES, you're actually having fun while you're fucking playing it. Even if you're like dying and like not doing well, it's still fun. This is like you want to fucking just shove a fucking missile up your fucking ass, like that fucking missile this thing's shooting out. Shove a missile up your fucking ass and hope it explodes. have to use the star to pop those missiles. I, you can't, I don't believe that the star hurts the missiles. You have to like jump around them until they explode. I would like to for, forget about the rest of the game. Forget about the rest of the game. Just this fucking boss fight, I'd like to talk just about this fucking boss fight and how fucking bad it is. Like, there's nothing even really wrong with this level. Like, look at this. Let's go through this. Like, this is fine. Look, you can hit this guy. You can grab, you know, some energy here. You jump, you can hit that guy. No problem, right? It's fine. Like, it's really just this boss fight. Actually, I'll tell you another part that's kind of annoying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out another part that I, don't, I actually don't like. So when it comes. Here, so, all right, so this part, when this enemy comes, it's like, good fucking luck hitting this fucking guy. And I can't even, f okay, a couple, like I can't fucking form 
my star right now because the star is fucking below me. I got a bullet coming at my fucking face and there's nothing I can do other than maybe jump off the fucking platform because I have no weapon because this weapon you can't use it if it if it's like bouncing around. It's like it's fucking and look at it. Oh my god. Look at this. The fucking thing the fucking star I think is stuck by the fucking wheel. How long is it going to be stuck there? Look, the fucking star is going to be stuck in the wheel. That's my weapon that I need to kill this motherfucker. And what if that what if that track was longer? I would have never had a weapon again because the, my fucking gun is st under stuck underneath the fucking wheel of the fucking cart. I swear to God. Also, you know what? I want to see something. If I die right here, I'm going to kill myself on purpose. I want to know if I keep this item. Let's find out. Better. Better fucking keep the item. And you do. Okay, see? So now it was, it was definitely worth it for me to do that right there because now I have three hits. In fact, I could even have... I could have full energy going into this fight. If I have full energy, I might be able to actually fucking beat this fucking thing. As, even as bad as it is, if, if my energy's full, I could probably weasel my way through it. All right, I have full life right now. I, I'm gonna really concentrate to try to get through this fucking stupid ass fucking fight. full energy. I can afford like one hit here.
right, I'm back. Um, finally got through that spider boss. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Um, I want to show. I want to show something else, by the way. So, I posted a, a picture of this um, somewhere, maybe on Instagram or something. Anyway, I want to show you uh, this sticker on here. Uh, and maybe somebody can tell me, is, is there anybody in here, there's almost 500 people in here right now, is there anybody from uh, Sweden or Norway in here? Sometimes there is. Anybody at all, shout out, even if you're a lurker, shout out. Because I want to know, maybe somebody know. maybe somebody else knows anyway. Anyway, there's a sticker on here. Um, I want to show you. The sticker. See that sticker? I would imagine maybe that's where the person originally bought the game or where it was sold, like in Sweden. That's a Danish gas station. Okay, so would they have sold, I guess they sold NES games at a gas station there? That's interesting. I would have never, like, I mean, I guess you could. Um, so I guess it, it was sold at a gas station. Right next, <laughs> Tilt Team Extremer says, yeah, of course, right next to the beef jerky and cigarettes. <laughs> Okay, Alraz, um, a pick of the manual. Well, I mean, well, the manual doesn't have anything. I mean, this is the manual. I showed it before. But the manual, here, wait. Here's the manual. Um, I showed it earlier in the stream, though. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. So I guess it was sold at a gas station. You meant the inside of the manual? I also showed that earlier, too, but I'll, here, wait, really quickly. Well, you know what? Maybe there's, like, here, let's do this. See? There you go. Anyway, all right, I don't want to keep showing the manual. Half my stream will be showing the manual. <laughs> Can I play level one again for you? You, you missed it? Yeah, uh... Maybe after I beat the game. I don't know if you really want me, though. The Deadpool hack homebrew was amazing. I like how you spell homebrew, by the way. That's funny. Um, yeah, it's that death, uh, Deadpool hack is very cool. That it, That's the manual. I figure it would have been written on toilet paper. You know what the, the funny thing is? This thing is probably, actually somebody could probably find out how much is this manual worth? Somebody go, somebody go, um, how much is the manual worth? Cause this is one of the most expensive NES games. Actually this one, this one too, a little Samson. I have my, some of my rare ones out. I got other rare ones too, but they're away. The manual is $500. Yeah, so like, fucking, I can't, I can't even read it. <coughs> anyway, I'm not done with the with the game yet. Sunsoft games are kind of an anomaly to me. They often made good games, but they always crept some controller slang rage into their games. Yep. You'll trade it for the Karate Champ manual? Uh, I don't, I think I have, I don't, uh, I, don't, I might not have Kar Karate Champ in the box. I don't think that one's rare though. I'm just fucking random shit, man. 
All right, so we're going to the leaning tower here. So I don't know how far, hopefully there's, hopefully that was the most annoying part of the game. I'm hoping it doesn't, there are, I'm hoping there aren't any enemies quite as annoying as that fucking enemy, that they're, that fucking spider boss, because I hated that spider boss. Because some games are like that, to where, you might, you know, the, the hardest part of the game might not be, you know, at the end. What the hell is this? Wait, what? I, these are just like statues in the background, I guess? Oh, no, they come to life. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. another shit boss like maybe so like, what do they deal with these fucking guys you know how I feel about this I feel like if I took a hammer and smashed it into my own fucking head like 10 times and then played the game, the controls would make perfect sense to me. A ferret and a and Humpty Dumpty? The fuck? The hell is happening in this fucking game universe? This is this is their example of world building. Just fine. Wow. Oh, my Lord. We're in a castle, by the way. Is this the end? Fucking hope it's the end. Bon? Ah, it's a boing, boingy boing. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh come on! Shitty springs are the story of my life. What the hell was that? Fucking scum! Aha! Yes! Alright, now we actually have some energy. The one that this guy threw down the fucking toilet. Yikes! 
<laughs> wow, did I just really scream yikes? I really did. One time I was doing a stream. You know how usually I'll say, God damn it, this game's a piece of shit, or fuck this game, or this, you know, that's what I'll us usually say. One, I don't remember what game it was, but one time I... <laughs> One time I said, I go, this game is the pits. And I meant it. Who says that? And who literally says yikes? I think that's the first time in my life I've ever actually legitimately screamed out yikes. Yikes! See, that one was not. I did that for you. You've never used those words. I've never used those words before either. It's like I'm turning into Charlie Brown. This is the pits, man. God. Come on, damn it. All right. This is the pits, man. Yeah, there you go. That's that's how you do that. Boing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not too bad. Yes. Oh, I thought I had him. What? Come on, you scum. Scum! Scum! No! He's not dead yet? Die! Fucker! Kill him, kill him, kill him. Mm. Son of a bitch! Get him! Kill him! There you go. Jesus! Is he dead? Yes! <laughs> Yes! 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 Ah! Ah! Alright. Mm. No! Fuck! Fuck this part! Spikes? Oh, he fell off. Ha! Good. Get out of here. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Mike has officially leaned forward in his seat. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what happens. You're not wrong. Zoop. Hey, look, it's just like the clock tower in Castlevania. See, I made a Castlevania reference, not a Zelda reference. I'm going to start doing Castlevania instead. Actively start trying to look for Castlevania references. Oh, shit. Mm! Oh. Okay, I see. level just like the spikes in Castlevania yes the exact same At least there's no more Medusa heads. <laughs> All right. Yeah, not yet. There's not. 
What if Medusa heads start showing up? There we go. Alright. Oh, this again? God damn it. This part. I hate these fucking. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> this fucking game. Remember when they used to give weapons like on stage one? That was fun. Not that these enemies ever fucking die. That's another thing. They never, like, they barely ever fucking give you, like, weapons. It's like, why even have fucking weapons if you're not gonna, like, pass them out at all? Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Fucking, like, super lucky if you get one to fucking hit him. Like, what do these hitboxes look like? You know? Fucking like winning the lottery to fucking get this guy on the bottom of this fucking hitbox. <laughs> See? It's like, what do you fucking do? Come on. Decided it wanted to work somehow. Just die. Ugh. So stupid. I don't understand. Like, how can you? Ugh, there. fucking did 10,000 other fucking times right before that. That one decided to... Oh, look, look at this. Look at this. <sighs> Man, I fucking hate this. You never know what these stars are gonna do. Like maybe it'll bounce over there. There, now he fucking fell off. Who knows?
Jesus, this these fucking springs suck. Too. There. All right. Now I haven't been. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, wait, no! Tell me, like, I need to, like, I don't know. I'm gonna assume I go down here. Like, where the fuck else can I go? <coughs> oh my god, is that a fireball? Oh god, now what am I gonna do? Oh no. What have I done? Oh, Jesus Christ. What? It, the star dragged me into the spikes! But I have the fireball. So who fucking won that fight? I still have the fucking fireball. Game. You fucking game. You annoying ass fucking dumb fucking game. Like this, this is the worst fucking springs I've ever fucking seen. Oh my god, fuck, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck you! They don't work! Piece of fucking no no! Don't come back. Good. Thank God. Fucking something. Sack of shit. Oh. It's like some kid cool shit right here. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Go back to Kid Cool!
Thank you, Terrified of Garland, for the sub. Riding on the star would be like awesome. It's not. If you happen to be riding on the star in a situation like that, it's so fucking erratic that it's like you just hope that you don't die. Like it looks like it's like, oh, like if you saw the guy riding around on the star in a commercial or something, you'd be like, oh my god, that game looks so fun. Yeah, the riding on the star makes you fucking like feel like you're you're you know you're gonna die any second <laughs> come on uh! and doesn't it even have passwords or anything This is shit. Get away from me! Get away from me! You! He's invincible! It's like the fucking gerbil that Richard Gere shoved up his fucking ass. You can't kill it! You can only kill Humpty Dumpty! Good, now he left. Thank God. Now I get to fight the fucking Knights of Knee again. We are the Knights who say Knee. The worst. Oh God. Not that I can fucking hit any of these guys ever. How did I even fucking like get through this before? Oh look, I actually hit somebody. Oh my god, I hit him again. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's the worst. All right. Ha uh ha. -huh. If you get really lucky. Oh, is that it? Is he dead? Yes. As long as I made it through that part on my first try, that's fucking great. Good. That's all that fucking matters, really. Like, I can die now, now it doesn't matter. D whatever, that's fine. I made it through the first part, that's all I care about. <sighs> Steer clear of the spikes on these parts. Thanks. I 
nice lot. Hey, watch out for the spikes, asshole. <laughs> Fucking up. Got some jesters in the chat. There he goes. Go down the fucking toilet. There you go. I hate these spikes. Like, I mean, springs. Like, that. I have to figure out how these fucking things work. Oh, that was a weapon, by the way. Ah! Let me just grab it out of the spikes. You get the one chance to get a fucking weapon. Like, that guy couldn't possibly give me a fucking weapon, could he? Because that's a place where I could get the weapon. Make sure to only give me weapons in the worst fucking conceivable fucking place where they drop into spikes where there's no opportunity whatsoever for me to fucking acquire! How are you gonna get that? It's like the fucking pizza in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuck behind a spike wall. How are you gonna get it? You know how? You're not! The game says fuck you. And you know what I say to the game? Fuck you right back. Fuck! This is fucking bullshit! This fucking weapon. This is the worst fucking weapon ever in any fucking game I ever fucking played. I'd rather have the fucking rock from Friday the 13th. Like, seriously. Oh, look at me! Oh! Look at, look at this fucking weapon! Oh, look at it bounce around! Oh, can I use another weapon again? Oh, now I can. Fucking lousy sack of shit. What, what 
what even happened. I was looking at the chat for a second. Oh, now they give it to me. You know why? I'm on my last fucking life. They're like, let's give it to him on his last life, not his first life, because then he'll have multiple opportunities to make it to the end. Let's give it to him right before he's going to die and get one fucking shot at it. Fucking gods of gaming telling me to go fuck myself. They can go fuck themselves. No, I don't mean to. Can I put it away? Can I put it away? Put it away. Put it away now. Fuck. No. No. This jump. They put it too far away. And it's not like you can even have the, can you have the thing, like, can you have the star bouncing around in there? You can't have the star, like, bouncing around in there because the spike kills the star, so you have to make the jump. Oh my god, I made it. Of course I made it, because I fucking, you know why I made it? Because I got the item, and then I lost the item. That's why I made it. It's, th it's to stick it to me. Well, I'll tell them where I can, they can fucking stick it. No! Continue, shall we? <coughs> Thank you for the bits, SNES girl. What a cute character he is. What a bunch of cute characters. You got the little egg man and the little gerbil man. Yeah, a little gerbil man, a little egg man. <laughs> Aren't they cute? He's the worst. Everything's the worst about this. I hate it so much. I hate 
I hate it. I hate this. I'm riding him now. I know you do that. Forbid they replenish the item every time. God forbid they make the hitboxes slightly more tolerable on the undersides of these fucking shield hamsters or whatever the fuck they are. Whatever the fuck they fucking are. Nobody fucking knows. Nobody's ever even seen this fucking game before. The fuck is this shit? fucking star it's like it's literally the worst fucking thing I've ever fucking used in my life in a fucking video game it's the fucking worst it's the fucking worst who fucking came up with this it's like it could fucking work if they like hitboxes weren't the fucking like broken or like what the fuck like this this lo probably looks like it could be a fun game or maybe it doesn't look like it could be a fun game. With a better attack, this could have been good. Yeah. Even, like, the star thing, it could be good if it would, like, hit the fucking enemies. Why doesn't it kill the f this fucking hamster? For one thing. Why, when I kill Humpty Dumpty, does he not fucking, like, give out anything like how about give me the fucking bomb or give me the fireball or something nope why is it useless against the fucking ferret why doesn't the item right here fucking replenish ever other than if you use a fucking continue of why when i'm fighting these fucking enemies and trying to hit the underside of them why is it that when i hit the underside of them like that perfect example that right there i hit the fucking underside why didn't that count as a fucking hit like what like the the fucking it's like hitting it's unbelievable like sometimes it works you got to be like on on their back side of their underside it can't be like on the front side of their underside. It's gotta be the back side of their underside. Like you gotta be so fucking lucky to hit one of these fucking things. Like, that should have got him. Come on. Would oh, that fucking hit him? Wait, what? You can hit him on the top? What? Wait a second. thing is only there to fucking serve to piss me off. Now I have no life. The fucking energy. I'm gonna fucking die before I even get to the fucking hamster swords. <sighs> you know what I bet? You know what I fucking bet? I bet after they fucking do this is when you get them. Hang on a second. I think I just fucking figured these things out. This fucking ferret needs to fucking die. If the fucking 
star, we came back. It's like I can't even use my fucking weapon because it's like gone. It has to fucking recharge before you can fucking use it. It's the worst. I hate it. I hate this fucking star. Like that. That's how you do it. Now I know how to fucking do it. It's still fucking hard to do, but... And another thing, the fucking weapon, do you see there how it hit the fucking ceiling? God forbid. Of course, it hits the fucking ceiling too, by the way. Oh, come on. It's still not easy, even fucking knowing that. There! God forbid you Oh, you couldn't possibly give me health that time. You know why? Because I'm not on my last life. Gotta be on rest zero for that. an idea for improvement. You know how you can do this? Hang on a second. Let's see if I can do it. It's fucking hard to do, but... Like that. See? I made it up here. How about there's, like, something up here? They, okay. They teach you earlier in the game that if you do shit like that, you can, like, get like, like, extra items and stuff. How about there's, like, a fucking treasure chest here with some fucking health in it or something? Or, like, a fucking ladder. Why teach me that earlier if you're not gonna fucking have things later in the game to fucking ever help you out? Look at, and this thing won't replenish. That's it. That's, I better do it this time, because I'll never get another opportunity. I also better make this fucking jump. One in a million fucking chance. Oh my god, I actually made it. Alright. this fucking controller through my screen. I don't think people would blame you for emulating this game. Are you talking about using save states? Or are you talking about because of the rarity of the game?
fucking worked. Oh. Oh. Come on now. I don't even remember what happens now. Uh. I think I go down, right? I don't fucking even remember. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, no. Fuck it, fuck it. That killed me last time. The fucking Mega Man? Seriously. Somebody likes fucking Mega Man a little bit. Oh, God. Have mercy. Oh my god. going on. Ah! 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 Please, please stop. Just, please. No! Where do you start me? something see like a secret 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 give me a secret <laughs> come on
least they put me here. It's like you have to let him fucking be an asshole. Possible to credit him. No, Thank you, Babylon. Oh. Mm. I wish this had a password. Is he almost done with the game? Um, I think there's another level after this, which makes me not want to continue. <laughs> 
If this was the end, then maybe. Look, look at how I'm like already out of luck. life. Nine bosses? Nine bosses? I can't, I can't even fucking play this anymore. something. Hey. Hey. That's... If I can fucking keep that, man. That could be the fucking difference right there. this weapon. Thank you very much Fennelrith for gifting subs out to Tacoman30, Sapphire297, Hattori Hanzo, Phoenix Shroud, and GQ Man 24 If you guys got a gift sub from Fennelrith, please say thank you. Thank you Fennelrith very much. Appreciate the support. In the middle of this nightmare of a game. Is that another fireball? Okay. It's this fucking part, man. I, I hate the springs. This, this makes me want to stop. The fucking springs. And that I had to fucking go through those again. <sighs> and then he like jumps off to his death. up here like
That was my fucking chance at beating it. to be possible. I don't see how you could possibly get back because I don't think, I think it's just a trap. I don't think you could get back. Like, I'd like to see somebody get that and get back. I mean, maybe there's a way to do it, but I don't see how you could. I would have had a fucking fireball, man. What makes a game bad, really? How about a horrible fucking weapon? That's a start. The star doesn't go away. I fucking hate I hate this game. Like, I fucking hate it. Fucking weapon's so stupid. This is the stupidest fucking weapon. Nah, I can't, I'm stuck. I can't move. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm stuck here. It won't let me move. It won't let me move. in the game that I like less than this than this weapon. What what are other weapons in games that are fucking horrible? Can you think can you guys think of some fucking horrible weapons in games? I'm trying to think of one I, right now that I hate worse than this. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde weapon says DJ track. Um, well, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde weapon, I'm going to tell you why this weapon's worse. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde weapon, you can't use it to hit anything, which you which you figure that out in like whatever in a, in a minute. You like so you hit you hit the enemies with it, and you're like, oh, you can't use this weapon to hit anything, which sucks 
to not have a weapon that'll that'll that won't hit anything. This fucking thing though, you have to fucking use this thing to get through the fucking game, and it, and it's and it's annoying the entire game, where that weapon is only annoying for ten seconds because as soon as you figure out that you can't use it, it stops being annoying. This is annoying the entire fucking time you're playing it. So which one would you rather have? An, a weapon that stops being annoying after, you know, 20 seconds? Or a weapon that annoys the shit out of you for hours upon hours upon, upon hours on end? I would rather just have the weapon that doesn't work and then be able to move on and, like, platform my way through the fucking game. Hit him again. Damn. I have no extra weapons for this. Bachelor's Quest weapon's pretty bad. Not if you upgrade it. At least, see, what if, what if this star, what if this star if you could upgrade the star to like a level two star or something, so that like, you know how when you throw this star, it's like it lays a on the ground for like 15 minutes before you can use it again? Well, if you got an upgrade to the star to, to make it so that you could throw the star faster, that would, that would fix half the problems with the star. Like that would be nice. Faster's quest. Yes, the weapon sucks. Like, especially when you're shooting the weapon and it's like going to the wall and not hitting the enemies and going around the enemies and all that. That sucks, but you can upgrade it. You can at least upgrade it. This thing, you can't fucking upgrade. It's like, okay, so this enemy, you have to trick him to come down. Oh, did I, get a, did I get a hit in there? I think I did. You have to, like, purposely get hit by these bubbles so that he'll come down. And then, like, maybe you'll get lucky to get be able to get a shot in with your star. Like, you, you have to... It's like fucking totally bizarre. Unless there's some other fucking method to do this that I don't understand. There probably is something else you can do. I don't know what else, though. And then he's, then he's gone, you know? There's got to be some type of like pattern to this that I don't fucking know. Oh wait. Oh my god. Wait. I know what to do. Did I fucking just... Come on. What the hell even hit me? How many hits does this take? <sighs> All right. So if I can do it, I think I know what to do. How, how to get this guy now? <sighs> if I can make it work, come on! Oh. Mm -mm. Come on. Oh, shit. Fuck! It's 
hard to pull it off though. Damn it! Try not to get hit. No, it no, it's not avoid the bubbles. You need to hit the bubbles for him to come down to the bottom. He doesn't come down to the bottom if you don't get inside the bubbles. I think what you need to do, if you can do it, is I think you have to throw the star and then get hit by a bubble immediately so that he comes lower. And then when the bubble goes and hits the wall, the star will come on the way back. And then hopefully, if you're lucky, hit him. I think that's what you're supposed to do, but it's really fucking difficult. And then he's got this other attack. I don't know if you see him doing it. So he's throwing the bubbles and he's throwing little spike things down, but he also every once in a while, he throws out like this magic attack thing. That'll fucking kill you. The guy from He Man, yeah, it's Orko. I guess that's a good point. It does look like Orko, doesn't it? That fucking that was the magic. That good, hit him again. Good.
Thanks, TurboGrafx. This is ridiculous. a password system very badly um at least it gives you infinite continues though I guess if you want to play it um come back to it tomorrow the problem is I don't like it I don't like this game so I don't really want to come back to it. Um, I don't know. I'll leave it on for now. Maybe I'll consider it. But I don't like this game. Honestly. You can definitely beat it. I'm sure I could. I, I, if I sit here and do it long enough, I probably can. But it's like, I don't like the game. Fuck you, Sunsoft. Well, no, I mean, hey, they made fucking Batman, which is, like, one of the best NES games. Mr. Starbooger? That, that's a better name. That could have been a better name, because he does look like a booger, and, and he does have a star. All right, I'm going to stop for now. Hope you enjoyed the stream. That is Mr. Gimmick. Try it yourself. Hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.